Did you know that humans have a history of launching art into space? And now, a new initiative called the Lunar Codex is looking to further the amount of art in space by putting digitized versions of work from more than 30,000 different artists, writers, musicians, and filmmakers on the moon. But who gets to decide what art is worthy of being sent hurtling into space? And more importantly, what's even the point of doing that in the first place? This trend began in 1969 with a small ceramic tile called the Moon Museum. It contained drawings from famous artists like Andy Warhol and Klaus Oldenburg and was put on the moon during the Apollo 12 mission. Then we left a sculpture called Fallen Astronaut on the Moon in 1971 during the Apollo 15 mission. The sculpture has a plaque with the names of astronauts who died in the line of duty. In 1977, two golden phonograph records were included aboard the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, containing everything from the sounds of whales to the song Johnny Be Good. The goal was to convey information about life on Earth to any extraterrestrial that might one day come across the records. The Lunar Codex has a similar goal. Inside four time capsules will be digitized versions of artwork like painting, music, film, books, podcasts, and poetry from all seven continents. All of it will be put on memory cards or inscribed onto a nanofiche, and it's meant to catalog the scope of human creativity. The Lunar Codex was created by physicist and writer Samuel Peralta. He started the project in 2020 as a way to send his own work to space. After expanding the project to include other work, his main requirement for the work he selected was that the artist had to previously have work featured in an exhibition, catalog, or anthology. The Lunar Codex is being sent to the moon by NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program, which sells commercial lunar transportation, and the project is being largely funded by Peralta himself. Peralta said that he wants the collection to be a message in the bottle for the future, that during this time of war, pandemic, and economic upheaval, people still found time to create beauty. Now, artists like Jeff Koons and Sasha Joffrey are hoping to put their work on the moon via commercial space travel, so this trend seems to point to space not just being the final frontier for exploration, but for artists as well.